and welcome back to episode three of the is it the luxury hotel run there you go don't remember the name it's, it's a new run by youtube hello youtube uh just like that it's almost like it's almost like there was no time passed at all who could tell um last for 12 of these okay let's go uh suppress that as well suppress that good mod we like the suppress notifications mod um yeah what i was going to do I was gonna do Okay, as we just ping the the research. Ah, but this is um, it's too cold out here. I see a problem. I want to send this to a thimble read, but it's going to be too cold. Uh, this thim thimble read need to be inside. Uh, we can do more of these. That's good. There, we have enough. No. We can also start sweeping the base up. I mean, I usually avoid doing that for ages, but we can do a, a mild sweep. You two passed away. Yeah, it's um, I put them out two days apart, so just to space it out. Uh, so I don't know, rhyme. <laughs> uh, no, so the bridge is going to be it's going to be priority. So it will take. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I've done the I've done the way around. Well, I've done that, idiot. Um, we'll do that. You're right. I'm going to prioritise into the into the sieve, which will refill the loop, and then. Um, yep. Last Robinson and Rhyme is getting stuff overheating. Cold brine geyser. Oh jeez. Yeah. Now we can um, we can dig this all up now, right? Yeah, we're just gonna make a huge watery mess at the bottom of this uh, this bit. But yeah, the um, the oxygen masks are really useful. They, they're definitely way worse than abo suits, but they're uh, they're still pretty good. Um, you know. Thank you for early on. Alright, let's get these uh, soup docks filled. <laughs> Guys, has went dormant in waters. Oh no. Oof, we're going to be a sticky situation. <laughs> Start desperately finding some more water. Yeah, anyway, we can just sweep the base up into our infinite storage. Why not? Nice and tidy. Uh, and then, yeah, we've already found the top. We can put a mechanised airlock in here. We could... Um, we could do a nice proper uh, liquid lock here, maybe. Um, I'm really, I'm going to have to come up with a design for this. I, I was not expecting to so quickly get uh, get up to the surface and you know get as far as we have. It's uh, this run is just going very fast. And um, we should also do some strip mining as well. Oh yeah, and the gas guy is there. on uh, the bottom. Yeah, yeah, we can we can definitely. Um, Definitely get that one captured. Uh, there was another one up here, right? This one was a nat gas as well. Yeah, that's this is nat gas too. So we can break in there and start using power. Uh, we need to make an industrial brick as well. Uh, <laughs> some ice ages, some molten ages. Mm. Yes, we are. We are in a boiling world. Not good. The uh, yeah, the heat wave across Europe. Not good. Oh, we need to do some infinite food storage as well. So yeah, I don't want to make this base too nice because we need to we need to make it. Or we can we can fairly quickly start going up here. So um, I suppose is there anything we need in terms of technology? I mean, we we need to do more research, right? So what was I, I was doing the materials research. Uh, that's probably a good thing to focus on as well. How are we going to generate rads? That's the question. Uh, we have one shine bug. Okay, a shine bug survived the coal. Um, not necessarily, Leo. That was um, potentially the idea I was going to do after this, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I haven't found any wheeze warts. Are there any wheeze warts on Rhyme? Are there frozen? There are fries, frozen biomes, right? Or are there not? Oh dear. There might not be. Uh, okay, we'll find that one out. Uh, right, the other thing we should definitely do is more exploring. So just uh, get out on the map and uh, work away. Oh, there's new trillium. Okay, that's the edge of the map. So we're quite, we must be slightly left biased with the pod though, because that's not, that can't be half the map, is it? 95? I think the base is left biased, or the pod is anyway. Uh, so the, um, yeah, critter, critter podium there. The flux of matics there. So we can just kind of go sideways uh, in bits. I mean, I suppose, let's come across here. We'll leave the, we'll, we'll leave the geyser intact for now, just so we can tame it neatly. Um, but let's, yeah, let's dig across. And, uh, oh, not, not that. That's going to be a hole. I'll come across and uh, just explore. Exploring is very important. Always do that early and do it 
Oh, do it aggressively. Um, leave no stone unturned. Uh, storm up. Storm up's just here. Yeah, that, that's not, not a lot to do. we got geoactive metallic caves. Um, cool seam vent nat gas. Oil reservoir. Lovely. Uh, okay, what was that? That was the materials research. Uh, we can do all this stuff. It's just just do everything. Research everything. May as well. Uh, it, I think, yeah, I thought I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Exactly. We've got to, you've got to find find your way through the entire map because there's there's useful stuff everywhere. Um, and, and nothing to be scared of. Uh, definitely newer players are usually scared of, of finding stuff, but there's nothing out there that's dangerous particularly other than, than starving or temperature or suffocating. Nothing's going to attack you. Most tubes on minimap. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, that just sounds like a nightmare, <laughs> to be honest, mate. <laughs> uh, I want to do fun runs, not complete pain runs. This is also why I don't tend to do, like, um, uh, hard max difficulty, that kind of stuff. Uh, we are building up a lot of that gas down here as well. Um, yeah, we, we need to build an industrial brick somewhere. Uh, so I don't want to go too nuts on this base, because this base is kind of... Yeah. How's the heating going? I mean, 7 degrees. This is now up to 5, right? This was minus 13, yeah? Or was it minus 10 or something? But now it's up to 5. So, okay, it's not quite amazing, but it's, uh, it's bringing us up. we got to keep an eye on the food. Very annoying for food, this map, though. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see, guys. We'll see what the next run is. I don't know. I don't know how long this one's going to take. I mean, we can kind of go nuts with how uh, how long we go. Because now you guys have given me so many subs to bring into the base. It's going to take me a while to get that many and to build them all a nice, lovely base. Uh, we can analyse these because they're pretty cold, right? So this makes analysing geysers pretty easy. Um, we're still down on food, so I'm going to gonna hold fire for now. Um... You have to work something out. Also, um, yeah, we have a bit of a problem because the water is running out. The water is running out uh, slowly, you know, but there is also not a lot of water because um, because it's all frozen. That's going to make this a bit more difficult. Maybe we do have to properly uh, have to properly capture this up. I think uh, so. What I can do. Put a pump and a. It's annoying. You have to put the hydro sensor uh, somewhere. We'll just insulate it, uh, and that's all you need. That's all you need to capture a uh, a water geyser. Any type of water geyser will do. Uh, we'll run. Don't have any conductive wire. Okay, that would be a good one. Where's the conductive wire? Let's grab that. Uh, we can dig that up. All good. So yeah, we don't want to make this base too nice because it's like we're only gonna gonna bin it off. Uh, sink. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. I was like, where's the sink? It's not in not in recreation. Ah, uh, we got polluted water in the base as well. That's it can't be pee, right? No one peed anywhere. Right, we'll just dump the pollute water. There's not really much point sweeping this, is there? It's just like a waste of time. Oh well. We're doing it. Uh, let's get that built as well. At least we'll trap the water in. <laughs> sink during recreation. Yes. <laughs> like having fun in the sink. Very strange idea. Um, see, I'm, I'm, hmm. we're, not, we're probably not going to need this base for very long at all. Uh, yeah. Toilets are base similar to bridges, so green ports don't get blocked. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, they're fine. They're fine like this. You can run them through. Usually, I do it the other way because it's neater. I like going up and down and burying the pipes, but that's it. Um, th they haven't announced when it comes out, Dominic, but usually... From the previous timeline, it's been about two weeks or so since from when they they first released it to when it comes out. Um, this update is a bit of a bigger one, so it might be maybe three weeks, but uh, I think it was a week ago, so I'd be looking for that fairly soon. Ah, 
Um, okay, so what I'm also going to do, I'm going to bridge this back on there like I did before, and then um, uh, connect some water up there. Uh, so basically, I'm going to steal some water out of the cooling loop. Um, just to, to get that going. Uh, and then that'll, uh, that'll come back and refill. Uh, we're building these out of aluminium, all right, because we have no copper or such. Just, okay, so randomly choosing aluminium. Probably a waste of aluminium. Uh, Rhyme has two liquid sulfur geysers. Okay, well that'll give you some heat. Yeah, nice. Yes, I know it has a hole, which is why I bridged back onto the uh, onto there. So, so just to refill the hole from the from the loop. No, no problem. Got it covered. Okay. Yeah, food, food, food. Uh, hi, Liana. Yeah, you are very kindly gifted us up. Uh -huh. Oh, so so yeah, so so our map is left biased. The uh, the edge of the map is here, and uh, the other edge of the map is over here. So we're quite left. But hopefully, the, uh, yeah, no, that should be good. We can uh, we can work with that. Uh, it's such a low output, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, this should, you should keep this um, it should keep flowing, so it'll be fine. Um, do I have a reservoir? I have a reservoir. Okay, we will just put this in as a reservoir for now because we don't want this backing up and it's too cold to do any plants. So, um, yeah, I gotta say this cooling loop is or this this heating loop isn't going quite as quickly as I had hoped. The uh, the oxygen coming out the swamp, I think, is doing more work. But we are nice and green down here now, so this is this is dupe comfortable. Still a little bit cold on the other side. The other alternative is I can whack this temperature up and do like 30. Um, they do have internal storage. Yeah, they'll 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 hold on to their their water. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you also for your own sub. You're already in the base, so uh, got you in there. But thank you as well. Yeah. Far too generous. Makes a biome. A a biome. So, so um, I have a tutorial bite on that, Andy. If you haven't caught that, but yeah, the biome is basically generated uh, at the map start. Um, it, there's nothing inherently hot or cold about it. So it's just the features that that make this a caustic biome. It's just how it generated. You strip mine it, it'll look exactly the same as if you strip mine any other biome. Uh, there's no inherent cold or or heat source in them, other than geysers, obviously, or wastewater or things. So. Uh, they just start that way by the world gen settings, and then they react to however you, you get on. Uh, oh, we should get on some steel as well. Uh, Ayagimagero, come in. The background colour to... Yes, that's true. So yeah, I mean, a bit of an advanced tip. Has absolutely no bearing on, but if you dig the biomes out, each biome has a slightly different background colour. So as in the... Um, this oxygen is blue, and then it's kind of like a brown here. But if you look over here, this oxygen is blue, and then it's kind of it's more blue behind it, like a green grey. Uh, and then this one is like slightly um, greyer, and up here it's kind of brown. So yeah, they, if you strip everything away, you do get a patchwork of where the biomes were. Um, a cleared world start getting the, well. A cleared world will start getting to whatever the gas is in it. Um, you know, if you assuming it's filled with gas, it will just kind of average out whatever is adding heat. You know, usually, assuming you're building a base, which is kind of the point of only and not just making a big hole, then it, things will usually get hotter over time. So cooling is kind of like the mid-game stuff you need to, to keep track. Uh, yeah. Thank you, JKLM. You're on it. You're on the, on the links today. Appreciate that. Yeah. Lots of story bites. Lots of stuff. Um, yeah, we, we, we really need to strip mine out this, this block here. Um... Uh, we need to block this up. Uh, two, three, four, five. We can let's go with optimal strip mining as well. We'll do we'll do seven tiles, seven tile strip mines. Four, five, six, seven. 
There we go. That's a... That's a big strip mine, and then you just prioritize the ladders first so they don't get stuck. Otherwise, they will still get stuck and try and kill themselves. That's six. It's, they're seven apart. So, um, when they're standing on this ladder, they can reach four up. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry, it's gaps of seven, isn't it? You're right. Uh, okay. That's going to annoy me. Sorry, you're right. It's not It's not seven, it's gaps of seven. Now, I usually just do fours, so I'm a little bit not used to that. There we go. Optimal strip mining. I'll point it out. Yeah, do that again. We just have that, yeah, strip mining for the win. Although that is going to release a load of oxygen everywhere, but, um, yeah. Uh, our water supply might be an issue. We've got this, so, okay, so the steam is now making us water, although it's turning straight into ice. Maybe, um, we've got to bring the ice through here or something. Yes, so, so they can dig four up, I'm standing on the ladder, and standing on the ladder they can dig three down. That's why gaps of seven is the most efficient. Oh yeah, I was trying to tame this, wasn't I? Uh, did I get the... I got the um, conductive wire. We'll just leave a conductive wire uh, strand in there, I suppose. Uh, what we should also do... This is still running off hamster wheels, isn't it? Okay, I'm... Ugh. Uh, been a bit negligent on that. I should have sorted that out quicker. No, a bit of a waste of time. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, We'll bridge these over here. Uh, we can send this one up. We'll do uh, we'll do useful stuff with that. Go and then we'll bring this down to here. Use all the copper we've got, and then yeah, we can get rid of that hamster wheel. Although um, okay, it's running on the coal generator anyway, so we're all good. Ranch uh, reach for yes, exactly four above, three down. So gaps are seven. So don't count to seven, count to eight. If you're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you get a gap of seven, of course. Uh, probably don't need to tell you guys that, but there you go. So yeah, we've got, uh, got some analysis going on as well. That gives us a few data banks. Uh, we really need to grab this natural gas because it's, it's going to start pushing up everywhere. Oh, we've got another saltwater geyser down here. Okay, I didn't catch that. Lovely, that's going to add a bit more heat as well. Uh, and more water. Liquid water is what we're after at this point. Um, oh, we've got a load down here. We should be good for water, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That'll be fine. Uh, let's put the... Uh, do we have any copper for the bridges? I like using copper because there should be loads of it. Um, using aluminium could be good use for other stuff. Okay, come on. More prints. Um, yeah, food. If there's food, I'm going to take food. So keep us going. Save me making mush bars. Um, okay, all right. I've realised I've just given them a giant task to do, so we we'll have to stand back. We probably do need more dupes, in all honesty. Uh, what are we going to do for food? Hmm. So we can do st uh, starvation shuffles. We need a source of meat for the frost burgers. I suppose we can do slicksters anyway. So we should probably look for a petroleum boiler at some point. We can bump priority on that now as well. Yeah, we, we definitely need more dupes for this amount of uh, work. We can just lift them off the mush bars, but... The, yeah, the water situation needs sorting. Uh, so, I think we can... Yeah, we can already. We can start pulling... Uh, water down here. And then... We can just drop it straight through here, right? So if we... Um, we pull that down here. We can literally just pop and drop that there. And lovely. Oh, we have to build all of this. There we go. How much does a wild hatch eat? Well, wild hatches you can starvation. They won't die if you if you do them. There's no point feeding wild hatches, I don't think. Um. Yeah. Well, we can always print some more. I mean, there, there was a Scheinberg, but obviously it doesn't give you any food. There are shovels too. So. There you go. Yeah, but I don't... Um, mm, we'll find out. 
We'll find out. I hope they don't all die, but you can always print them. Eat, oh yeah. No, but they'll take all the food to the, the box. This is on top priority, so they'll, uh, they'll immediately store everything. And that's alright, no omelettes were eaten by hatches. It's always a feels bad. Don't uh, don't let the hatches eat your, eat your food. Uh, so yeah, we'll attach that up and then we can take this coal generator out and probably start putting some coal generators over here too. Uh, just to to ease the power situation again just as, as a backup I and mean, obviously these hydrogen generators are supplying more than enough power for the entire base which is why uh, Rodriguez is so useful on an all achievement run for super sustainable but uh, yeah we we can put a backup of coal power in as well okay Yeah, so this gives a load of copper, so just because I'm to work, we can we can pole all the way up down here, for example. Um, cool. Yeah, we've got a lot of a lot of digging we can do. Uh, poor uh, one man digging squad. It's probably on the case. Uh, oh, okay, another geyser over here. Check that out. What have we got? A hydrogen vent. Come out very hot. Uh, no, I'm not playing on there because I, I don't want it to be unstable. That's the thing. I did I did um and ah as to which I, whether I should play on that or not. But they, they'll add it soon anyway, so I, I don't need to. I don't think I need to do that. Uh, just dig up here, dig around the abyss alike, just make it easier for the dupes. Um, but it'll it'll come out soon. So yeah, we'll we'll get the features. I'm sure. Give it a couple of weeks. Um, don't need to worry about it. Uh, Oh, I think they eat the same as the, uh, do they eat the same as the, no as the normal ones? Quite a lot, it's 100, 140 ki kilos per cycle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure, sir, for sure on that one. Okay, right, wires are coming. Copper is coming. Go, go, go. Say, so I don't want to make this base too nice. <laughs> What's making it too nice? Huh? Oh yes, yeah, I did catch that. It um, it crashed on me with the suppress notifications. So definitely, definitely think. Okay. Cool. Pipes done. Poor assistant caretaker is uh trying to analyze his way through that guy. Is that? Oh, we found. Yeah, so teleporters here. We probably should work our way to the teleporter as well. And we've already revealed quite a lot of the map. Let's say it's very we're very left biased over here, so uh yeah. Well, yeah. I mean we've got loads of minerals. We'll be alright on that point, Dominic, don't worry. We'll be good. Yeah, the Slicksters die below about 30, 35. Can't remember exactly what it is, but they are very sensitive to temperature so if we get down there and it is cold then they, they may well be dead or die very quickly I don't I don't know we'll find out we'll find out if not I mean we'll get a print from somewhere and as soon as we get a we get a petroleum boiler up then the slexes will be fine 35 yeah it rings a bell uh, we need more dupes <laughs> we need way more dupes uh, sweep only perfect yeah, but no, no one wants long hair slexers, do they? They're bad. Please don't use them. Ugh. I haven't got the slexer criticism story by out yet. At least some time of recording. Well, please don't use long hair slexers. They're just bad. Um, but yeah, temperature-wise, I mean, say, with the bomb and with the, the heating loop, we are... We're slowly coming up here. This is, what, 11 degrees? Unfortunately, the water sitting out here is still uh, it's freezing slightly in the pipes. Uh, oh, okay, we didn't finish building this. Uh, come on, <laughs> let's get distracted. But yeah, I think we'll be taking a dupe next time we get to one. You have loads in your base. Like, oh, okay, well then... I mean, maybe they're the decor critter now, you know. I could put them in this base for extra decor. Now, we can't really use shine bugs. Uh, slide around the kitchen. 
Oh, so, but yeah, they come in eights, the Paku. Uh, Alright, we lost... No industrial machinery. Is this industrial machinery? Is that what we've done there? We've uh, ruined our laboratory by this. Uh, let's get rid of that. What, um... Okay. Supercomputer's going. Supercomputer, I think he's just been analysing stuff. Just priority six. Get some stuff done. Farm for meat. Yeah, you can, you can, but they they take a lot of oxygen, and it's, it's not, they're not great. Uh, yeah, don't know why these are made out of aluminium, but they were. Royal flush. There we go. Another one for replacing our horrible outhouses. And smelting is done, so we can start working on some steel. That'll also give us some more temperature. Um, yeah, let's go back on that. We need steel and plastic. Steel and plastic are key here. Although we are going to need cooling anytime soon, so... it be good. Uh, yes. No, liquid carbon dioxide does look a lot like that. I always get that confused. Scalding? Oh dear. How are you scalding on a rhyme... Rhyme cluster? That's, uh, that's a new one. Uh, okay, stick some triage cards down. Um, if anyone thinks I'm giving them too much to do, you would be correct. <laughs> Come on, get this done. That's how I always play it. Just give them way too many instructions and then uh, none of it gets done. Like, do this stuff, please. And that one too. I swear they're just really slow at building the metal or stuff. Um, I wish I had more of this stuff to do. I'll speed them up. Space program. We're getting some. Uh, got the rocket platform. Hopefully, that's good. Okay, right now this is connected up. That's going so we can uh, take this out, take this out, take this out. Everything priority nine now. Do everything now. Why aren't you doing everything now? That's a long ladder. No, nah, this is this is only about halfway up, Collie. So we need to ladder to the to the top of the space biome and to the oil biome down here. So um, yeah, it's why it helps to have a pole. Poles go a lot quicker. Um, or transit tubes. We never know. We won't be able to fill them with brack wax. That'd be the uh, be the thing. Okay, got bits of polluted oxygen wandering about. Some bit of pipe breaking. Okay, we've got loads of food. Weather's excellent, okay. And muckroot. Ah, they dug up a load of muckroot in here as well. That's the thing. Um, but yeah, I would encourage you to only think big. Think big. Um, it's a big map, especially the, well, this size one, obviously. Uh, that's a volcano, right? Okay, we have a volcano, volcano. That's good. Um... We just open that. Should we just open a volcano for the lols? <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's go for that. I'll open it right into the ice. You reckon we'll get a lot of water back if we uh, if we let the ice and the volcano have a fight? <laughs> Why not? But just, you know, just for fun. Um, hatchling eggs would be nice, but I did say I was going to take some dupes, and we need some more dupes. Um, I don't really like the decreased calories. It's going to be more. Stuff, new lamb sucks. I'm guessing Meep, Meep is going to be you. Um, and Wolf Rat uh, was next on the list. Uh, so there you go, Wolf Rat, welcome in. I think he made it into the other base as well. He's doing well with, uh, with the RNG. Perfect. Plus two steam turbines. Yeah, exactly. We'll see. I mean, we're just, we're just doing fun. It's what we do for fun around here. Uh, yeah, so I really want this swept out so we can just recover all of this stuff. Um, I don't want it left in there. But I, mean, I think this has power, right? What's going on? Oh, they haven't done this. Why is this made up of iron? It's, you know. Um, my favourite dupe is Lyra. I've said this a couple of times, I think, on previous runs, but uh, yeah, on, on the first base I had that went really well, and that went really big, 
I, I had a lira. So, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Hold the bus, right. Sorry, there's salt, well, this is salt water, not, uh, not just normal water. So we need to stick it through a desalinator that I do not have. So, where is that? Let's research that quickly. And then, uh, then do that. That would be a good idea. Cool. What if we get rid of this horrible polluted water? Just making a pit down here. Yeah, actually, well, true, George is kind of the best. Uh, I need to unlock him. I, I think that should definitely be one of the goal runs this time. I didn't end up doing it on the Cosmic Archaeologist run. But I've never done it, so we should, uh, we should definitely try and get George, because he's, he's a great one. We can rename him to a subscriber as well. Whoever is the uh, lucky person next on the list will get will get George, I think. Uh, or or maybe, oh no, maybe, he'd, he'd be a better caretaker, wouldn't he? Because he's pretty, he has really good stats. So if we're going to need more caretakers, he might be a great caretaker. Uh, okay. I'm going to make sure this doesn't get overly full because they haven't done the, the reservoir at all. They keep digging this. Unfortunately, there's rather a lot of rock in here. Um, I feel like it's going to take a while for them to get that out. There we are. There's loads of stuff building up in this tile. Uh, and the water situation gets worse. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we water's kind of critical right now. Lots of Max, Devon. Yeah, lots of people different... Uh, Different favourites, it's always good. A lot of people like Pei, I know Pei is a fan favourite, player favourite, for sure. Uh, she's kind of cool. Uh, one of the new dupes as well, gave me one of the somewhat recent updates, it's been a while ago now. Uh, yeah, we're getting some nice steam over here, and slowly heating this up, but not by very much. So, there's some more water. A load of water down here. We got, we got, I mean, there's three salt water geysers. So there's one there, one there. There's another one buried somewhere, wasn't there? Or did I dig it up? Oh, there's another cool scene over here, too. Oh, look, we have a thimble reed that is actually alive. Uh, nice. Unfortunately, I, I think it's going to be, it's going to die pretty quickly. It's pretty on the edge. It's too hot on the right, too cold on the left. Um. Uh, let's do skills, skills. I keep forgetting skills. Uh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need research stuff. That'll give me pay the bills, won't it? Uh, exo suit, sure. Uh, ranching. The, we're not actually doing any ranching right now. Plumbing. We can make some blast shot. I mean, that wouldn't hurt. Now, wolf rat. You can be our uh, cooker, gorilla. Uh, should we put an electric grill in? We should probably like do barbecue and stuff, just for any bits that come out. Um, everyone, everyone loves pay. I do indeed. Uh, but yeah, we need to we need to set up an industrial brick area at some point. We'll do some more strip mining. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, obviously that's just the edge of the map. So not a whole lot there. Uh, nothing majorly exciting. Good to know. There's another geyser down here. So th these guys are going to be everywhere. Another hydrogen vent. So we've got two hydrogen vents. Uh, oh, there's a run as well. Yeah. Uh, cool. We've got the desalinator. Keep going for the telescopes. We can start telescoping probably next time. I'm guessing we're not going to get there. Oh, yeah. Spot the desalinator down. There you go. Oh, don't connect the two together. That's not a good idea. And uh, we can steal a power line. Lovely. Uh, cool. Right, they are they are slowly sweeping this stuff out. Wires done. Pipes done. Yeah, and then we can we can get all of this water going. Be great. And then we won't we won't run out of water. No way. Although we're we're getting close, aren't we? We are. We don't have a lot of water. So because most of the water around the starting by, I'm just froze. So there's a big ice chunk here, an ice chunk there, uh, an ice chunk there. We we lost a lot of our starting water. So 
good to get onto the geysers quickly, because otherwise uh, we would have had a big problem trying to supply oxygen. We'd probably have to go back onto oxygen diffusers uh, if we had to. Fortunately, we're all right on that. Just going to bump priority on this because the, the pole is quite important. Uh, Duke with a beard. Well, George, George has a beard, doesn't he? I don't think many of the others do. Okay, cool. So the desalinator is going. So water will just pass straight through a desalinator. So you can send it a mix of water and salt water or brine. That's all fine. Uh, same with the sieve, actually. So the sieve, you can send polluted water or water. Water will just pass straight through it. No problem. So, uh, yeah, this will just refill our tank a little bit down here. And we'll pump it back up. Uh, I think ideally I'd like to get the water out of here. This should really only be salt water, just to keep things simple. This is uh, this is working very slowly. I think the uh, the switching of the water types is kind of confusing it a little bit. I mean, obviously it'll pass through, but uh, something it's not loving something. Uh, cool. Yes, yeah, so and then we should. So just add the uh, coal generators back on, just as a backup. I hope we don't need the coal generators, but if we did, we have them. That way we can't run out of power, or not easily. Yeah, so temperature-wise, again, as I say, the heat is slowly spreading, and it will spread from the, the gas vents. Uh, it's definitely warmer in here. It's probably not quite plant temperature yet, still. But you see, we've got lots of uh, geysers going off everywhere, basically. It's going to keep the map hot. And uh, fairly soon, we'll have the opposite problem. Once we strip mine, we'll have the opposite problem where everything's too hot instead of too cold. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is all good. Mm hmm. So key things, I think, is just just getting out on the map. Uh, so I want to do a little bit more exploring just to get through these hidden areas, find out what's there. Hoping my uh, my digging dupe is doing that. Natural gas is going to be a problem. Um, yeah, it is overflowing a bit, isn't it? Um, what are we going to do for... I and mean, we can put them in a hot brick. We don't have any steel, so steel production is something I'm behind on as well. Um, we can, I suppose we can steal. We don't really have a nice water source for it. Maybe we'll just go find some. Yeah, we could, we could go with a digger, bigger hole approach. I mean, that would, that would work. Um, we can also suck it up and start using it. That is, that is my solution to carbon dioxide. Yeah, although to be fair, the pressure is really good, so we don't have any build up problems over here. Um, yeah, we just start strip mining. That means they're not going to get, not going to get this done if they do that first. We'll start strip mining down here. Um, okay, celestial detection, nice. We can start uh, doing that stuff. At this point, I'm just like, let's just research random stuff, research everything. Here's <laughs> a good solution: digging big holes. Okay, right. Uh, so a little bit of sweeping was missed. Let's get those out. I wonder if we need a second one of these just to speed this up. It's been really flipping slow. I think it's the mix of liquids. Once this liquid, this water goes away, it should solve things. Q mod for research. Yeah, I don't have that one. They 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 are gonna have to suffer for now. Yeah, maybe the ones that come in later might find a fully fledged hotel ready for them, but. Um, they're going to have to build build the hotel themselves, I'm afraid, these first guests. Because I'm not building them with three dupes, it's just going to take forever, so... I've got to balance the, the run idea with practicality. Yeah, everything's looking good. The strip mining is almost done as well. Uh, okay, right, they can't get across here. Anyway, there's nothing here, so... Don't need to stress. Yeah, I say, but our, um, our next time I will definitely come up with a build, I'll come up with a, an idea as to kind of what my 
what my pattern's going to be because I don't know what it is at this point. And uh, definitely a miss on my part. I need to know what that is so I can build it. So I'll uh, do some brainstorming come up with uh, my hotel design for the lovely guests. Oh, there's another geyser down here. Spotted. Couple of volcano. Ah. Oh. Cyberdyne, thank you very much for the sub. I'm sure you're already on the list. But, uh, welcome in. I think you're you my longest sub there with 17. I had Razor and Kem at 15, but you, you might be my longest one. Appreciate you very much. I've got 50 subs right now. That's that's huge. That's, that's a huge number of subs. You guys are so generous. Uh, okay, uh, I mean, I'd love to take food, but we really just need more dupes. So there's a pay, but those kind of suck. I mean, husbandry counts as the husbandry. Could be an artist. Husband, that's a lot of machinery. That's a lot of machinery. I don't love the calories. Hmm. You will learn slowly. Mm. I'm kind of torn on these two. I mean, everyone loves pay. Uh, let's go with the pay. We'll go, I mean, everyone loves the pay, and we'll take uh, we'll take this the artist. So next up was Leo far um, of course we've got to have Leo in the base and hopefully we won't kill you this time that may have happened on the most dupes run uh, but say it, this this run will also have a resurrection guarantee so you know if, if someone dies they'll be they'll be renamed sorry you, you the, the, the order is determined by the randomness and uh, you get whatever dupe I think's best so it's, uh, you don't get much choice in this one, I'm afraid. I don't have a lot of excess dupes to uh, allocate them. <laughs> but welcoming. We need we need Leo in every base. You must be in so many bases now. You know, I know the amount you fiend in Twitch streams. So. Power outage? Oh. Yeah, it's all good. Should uh, get running. This is why we need the coal gens up. I told them to build this. They ignored me. There we go. Oh yeah, Lee, Lee always has to feature, you know. Come on. Just need to get running. This just needs a kick. We need the... We need the electrolyzers running. It's kind of... It's a bit fail dangerous, this one. Because this powers itself. If it stops powering itself, uh, you don't get any more power out. So, you do... You need a little kick start. And then hopefully, just something to keep it stable. Um, we can move this up to 40. So, cause the higher the lower threshold, then the higher priority is the earlier it will run. So you want the hydrogen running first and the coal running second. So we can do 90-20 on the coal and 90-40 on the hydrogen. There you go. I think we had a fairly smooth start though, to be honest. I mean, it's working well. We are see, kind of in a position to build the space hotel. Next time, we can at least start construction. Uh, I think I definitely slowed them down with the strip mining. Uh, they've been definitely going ham on that. Yeah, let's get the let's get the coal back up. And, uh, yeah, I think it's very close to failing again. Depends how much extra power we're drawing out the system. It could be a lot. Obviously, the more we add to it, the more power we're going to draw. So, at least a good thing about the coal gens is that they uh, they'll always be. Good to go as long as they obviously as long as they got coal, but we'll make sure of that. Uh, quick check on the resources tab. It's a good idea to keep this up to date. Um, put oxalite, that'd be useful for rockets later. Not right now, but we need it. Um, data banks we can leave off. Again, we'll leave the metal ores. Yeah, okay, all right, nothing major to go on there for now. Cool, yeah, so we've got the, got the coal back up, that's going to help. Uh, I think we'll just keep taking more dupes, I and mean, we can we can feed them with the mush bars. Problem is, I've made this now giant area, and it's all quite cold. Although to be fair, so the the salt water coming here, although actually this is good. Um, this salt water's hot, it's seventy degrees, and uh, it's going to make a nice heat buffer up here as well. We we may very soon get straight into uh, needing cooling again. You know, it could be uh, could be that that quick. Uh, we should get some petroleum as well, I think. Um, I wonder if we, we've got a chance here to separate off the salt water that we've dumped down here. I don't think we'll be dumping any more anytime soon. So, if we just dump the salt water off to the side, we can then 
continue straight down without making too much of a mess. Uh, is this going to lead? This going to lead more salt water? I think we should um, come across here as well. Just see if we can tame this uh, in the same way. Get it locked in. It's a steam vent idle. Hmm, okay, I want to analyse it, but it's not going off. Five projects at once are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just like come on, do more, do more things. Why we need more dupes? Get it done quicker. They they are on it now. I mean, there's not a. I don't think there's a massive amount of uh, stuff we're behind on. Uh, but yes, uh, we have no steel. I want to close this in with steel too. But we're, we're getting about the map. Getting about finding useful stuff. Need more digging. They're, I think they're still sweeping as well. There's a bit of sweeping going on from over here. And research. And still this bit, lip, bit of strip mining as well. It's taking some time. Starvation. Here, yeah, come on. Uh, oh yeah, the nat, the nat gas is becoming quite a problem here, actually. Um, I kind of just want to burn the power. Uh, where there's somewhere really cold we could dump. It's like a there's ice over here, right? If I just come over here, this this is this is the idea. Okay, I have I have an idea. We put um, listen, do we have a nat gas gen? Did we not unlock the nat gas gen? We might have to do that. No, we did not. Okay, quickly, let's do that. We'll let, yeah, I know there's a vent at the bottom. I know. Um, I'm kind of fine with it going. Then we'll just... We'll, we'll put a gas pump down here. Um, we will use a filter. Because... Uh, it's going to be... How much power's putting on this actually? Not a lot. That'll be fine. We'll put, put one on here and then... We'll just filter it for now. And uh, I don't have a high-pressure gas vent, which is not good. I'm going to have to do something with this. Uh, bridge, bridge. Now we'll come along here. Uh, messy. <laughs> yeah, so this is the thing. My base is always messy, which is why I want to make a really nice base later on. That's, uh, that's the goal. That's the goal. Uh, power that up, and then where where is this other one going to go? Uh, is this still dripping water, by the way? Could uh, I'm going to tile that up as well. Maybe we'll just put when we can do a little infinite water system here, and then uh, uh, oh, that means I've got to bring this line up as well. Uh, yeah, it'll, it's, it's fine. It will neaten out. I mean, you remember as well the uh, the most used record base started out very messy too, and then ended up extremely organised. Because I, I basically this is a temporary starter base, and then we're going to make the real base at the top. So this is all just temporary. This is to get us started, to cover research, to unlock the the materials we need. It's, it's all just prep work down here. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll make a nice base. That's the point. They will start. They will start messy. But yeah, now we've got a little infinite storage system here, although that is uh, too much water. Nine kilos. That's better. Uh, yeah, nine would overpressure the vent. So yeah, we'll see. We can just use this natural gas up. It's fine. Get some more power. Well, yes, there was a lot of scolding. It wasn't for no reason. <laughs> it's kind. Of, it's just a little bit, a little bit hot. Sure, it's fine. Uh, cool. So I got that done really quickly. Interesting. They're just not doing the sweeping. I don't know. I don't know about the sweeping. I really want them to open this volcano and just have that fight. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. 
That's a, that's a saying over here as well. Fossil fuels, lovely. Uh, we can put the that gas gen. We're out of gold. Uh, right, and then the 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 dripping tile, if I can call it that, uh, is the third one. So I think the only the where this over I want to put it is there. Oh yeah, we've got to do the carbon dioxide as well. Uh, we can. We can join up to that and put it into our infinite gas storage idea. Now connect that up. We'll just run these. I just want to see. <laughs> They're organised very soon. Fight between the volcano and the cold, yes. Exactly. I mean, why? We've got to do fun stuff. We're here for the fun. Okay. Prioritise that. And then it should be good. I think they've built the rest of it. Ah, the water's all down. The water's frozen. Uh, I need a tiny bit of water up here. Can I? Uh, and then some more water. Hmm. I tell you what. Let's um. Uh, do it this way. We need some some tiles. Okay, um, yeah, schedules are on the limit of schedules, but fine. So if we've got four to a schedule, then the toilets will be good. Uh, printables. Do we need more tubes? Um, digging, cooking, decreased excavation. Athletics is quite good. Strength is good. Um, thinking of May. We have enough room, don't we? We have enough room. Uh, right, next up is Kem, Kem himself, uh, who... Gave a couple of gift subs out earlier. Appreciate that, Kim. Oh, uh, you're next up on the list. Kim comes into the base. There we go. There we go. I got uh, five units. Uh, six of you now. Get you all in. There's discussion going on in chat about Brazil. <laughs> um, yes. Hello to my Brazilian viewers. I do. I do have a couple of those. I also do the um, tutorial bites and the scripted ones. They have Portuguese subtitles for my Brazilian viewers. I know I do have some. It's uh, always good. Uh, did that. Not sure that it, did, it didn't really get enough, did it? Uh, we need a bit more. I'm Spanish. I thought you were Spanish. Because you were ter Tervera. I always wanted to say the C as a, th as a th. I, it just... It, like cur curvera d d d doesn't doesn't sound good. Hey, okay, so at least I can't get that right. Oh, hold on. Uh, breathable and that gas. Perfect. Why is that not connected there? Exactly, exactly. But I said I said server right before. If you if you're Spain Spanish, it should be server. Tervera. Oh, it should be Tervera, if they, if that's the accent. Because Spanish always puts the accent on the second last vowel, unless there's a there's an accent dash that tells you where to put the accent. I really like that about Spanish, because you can see it, you know how to say it, which is great. Um, uh, yeah. Even only other languages that are phonetic, you still don't necessarily know where the accent goes. So it's like... It's like the difference between saying water and water. And if you came around asking for water, people would be like, what? what? It's, uh, yeah, it's that difference. Uh, English. English has no idea either, of course. You just have to, uh... Uh... Have to go with it. And hope for the best. Uh, the joy of learning languages, where uh, nothing makes particular sense. Um, cool, right. Uh, we're going to avoid the hazmat digging. I don't think we need that. So and so, uh, if we don't know what to give them. We give them carrying because carrying is the best skill for sure. Leo, what are we doing? Uh, you can you can decorate. You'll be my decorator. We're going to need. We will need a lot of decorating actually. So that's that's a good skill to have. French is consistent. Are you having a laugh? French is like one of the least consistent phonetic languages <laughs> there is. Nothing sounds like it looks. 
it it looks you know, it's consistently bad at being phonetic. Uh, I do love French though; it's a great language, and I do speak a reasonable amount of French. Um, not I don't think so. I don't think so. So Spanish is great. Spanish is really great for that. Who's on reachable food? Oh, everyone, because there's no food, because there's no water. Why is there no water? Because I just haven't done any. Uh, let's uh, let's take another one of these in. Um, but yeah, we should be wrapping up as well. It's uh, it's end of stream time. But I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think about it. Need to sweep the tiles and the gas vent thingy, like this stuff. Um. It'll be fine. Right, yeah, we'll um, let's make some more food before everyone starts starving. Although we are, yeah, the nat gas is causing us huge issues. What's going on here? Uh, got to get this done because the nat gas is causing problems. Okay, more food, more mushrooms are coming. Right. Anyway, um, yes, we have reached the end of what is the third episode on YouTube and the first stream. So thank you guys for hanging with me. Um, I like to do the summary at the end of the stream. But uh, there's not a lot uh, to to summarise, really. What have we done the stream? Well, everything, because we started with nothing, and this is a new run. Uh, and here we go. So, obviously, we've done a lot of research. It's kind of one of the key things. We set up a little mini base, which we will effectively demolish later on as we rebuild up here. Done a lot of exploring, as you can see. We've found the left side of the map. We are skewed on the left side. So, we need to get across here and across here and to the oil. We haven't quite made the oil. Oh, I see a frozen biome. So that's good. We can uh, head down there. Uh, yeah, we need to find some oil. We haven't done steel yet. Uh, we've done a we've done a heating loop. So the heating loop's going and keeping the base reasonably warm. It's uh, it's not too bad. It's uh, livable. To the or uh, bluff briar hasn't made it. A, a couple of radiant pipes would probably speed this up a lot. Um, but yeah, we do have the cooling loop or heating loops. I keep saying cooling. Um, yeah, got some masks going, just got some basic rooms. Our laboratory has been churning through the research. Um, got our spawn going, of course. Got our, uh, going, and we're just trying to sort out this nat gas, uh, explosion that's happening at the bottom to, uh, get rid of, uh, get rid of that. There we go. And then we can, uh, yeah, make the base breathable again. That would be a good idea. Um, great, but that's what we've done so far. So next time we've got a bit more geyser taming to do. Uh, we need to probably start designing the space base, so yeah, it's great. We can uh, yeah, come up with a plan for that and start designing it and get all of my lovely subs in. Uh, huge thank you to everyone that is part of the community here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of it really. Continue on with the base, continue on with the... the start building the hotel, after which this, uh, this run has taken its name. And uh, look forward to doing more next time. Awesome. So... Uh, thank you for joining me on this episode and I uh, look forward to seeing you next time.